We know our allergies have been acting up, but have you noticed? So has your pets. If you've seen your pets scratching themselves, sneezing more often, licking their paws or shedding more often than normal, well, they could also be suffering from seasonal allergies. So what should you do? Let's ask our expert, Brett the Vet from Arizona Animal Hospital. Okay, I wanna go over the most common ones cause I mean, oh my gosh, my poor dog, Sunny Lou, she has been suffering. But what have you been seeing in your office? Every day, this is such a timely subject. Yeah. Every day in my clinic, it seems like in the newsroom too, people are talking about allergies and people yes. and pets and ears, lick, 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 scratch, yeah. scratch, 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 all that wow. stuff. Every day, 20, 30 pets coming in because wow. of the spring bloom, I call it. The pollens are on the, on the rise. Right. And these guys are coming in, lick, 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 itch, 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 keeping you up at night. Yes. And, and they're miserable. And their paws are soaked from licking, I've noticed. At least that's what my And that brings yeah. other problems. You start licking, you get athlete's foot. That kind of smells like yeah, Texas it's, Frito it's, pie. It's not, a, it's not a good smell. Maybe a Zinfandel <laughs> Yeah, a little fermentation. Yeah, All right, yes. so let's talk about right. though remedies and treatments. What can people do? You know, first of all, be proactive. At the first sign of that lick itch, you wanna either come in and see, see me and get some of the newer treatments that are much more effective. Mm -hmm. uh, it's hard to avoid the pollens because they're in the air and our dogs and cats inhale the air and we end up, it causes itch on the skin. Mm -hmm. So to avoid it is nearly impossible. So okay. come in early, start some treatments early. You can decontaminate with simple baths. They don't work as well because you're still inhaling the pollens yeah. and that's causing the itch. Okay. So there's two, there's two routes. One, if you wait too long, you end up treating with multiple medications, not just for allergies, but for infection, like yes. yeast infections and bacteria infections. Yeah. Second, there's some natural products that I think people That's, are asking about right. too. I think you had a list. Yeah, you? I do have a list and you just saw it earlier. That I put a question mark because I wanted you to confirm, okay, let's run through it, allergy pills. I've done this in the past with my golden retrievers, but you know, do they really work? Like if you use a Benadryl or, you know, one of the one of the human allergy pills. Yeah, Benadryl, Zyrtec are over the counter. You gotta get the right dose for the small dog. Okay. Uh, they can be helpful, but I find they don't work as much. Oh, um, okay. Some of the natural supplements we hear, I do see some value in local bee pollen. Dude, I had never heard that. And Absolutely. I read that and I was like, really? Because the, the pollens that we're allergic to, so what you're doing is you're eating it and exposing your body to those pollens in a different way. Okay. Into your gut's immune system versus right. the, the route that's causing the allergy. So I do believe there's merit in using local bee pollen. And there's some other natural products that some people have used. Um, one of them is CBD. Right. I'm not a huge fan. I've used it in the past, okay. seen some benefits. Yeah. But, you know, I, I think that kind of acts as a natural anti-inflammatory. Okay, would you recommend that though? You CBD? Know, the right product, there are some good products. You know, okay. how do you verify the quality of all the products? It's hard, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the pet store next to me has some really good products and mm. I think there's some good brands out there that okay. uh, the veterinarians trust and uh, otherwise some of the good pet stores sell probably more reputable products, I would say. Okay, good to know, wow. Yeah. All right, but bottom line, just check with your vet especially oh, dosage man. or whatever you decide to use. Yeah, and hopefully yeah. your dog's just a seasonal dog where this, after the spring bloom, usually after it hits 100 degrees, mm -hmm. pollens burn off, molds burn off. Yeah. Hopefully your dog gets a, and your, a reprieve until next year. Yeah, no kidding. I know humans do. For Once sure. A, that's the one slight advantage of those triple digits. Yeah. For sure. All right, that's thank right. you, Brett.